Leo, what's going on with you? This is going to be a weekly reading, guys, from the 25th, the full moon. From the 25th through the 31st, from Christmas to New Year's Eve. What's going on with you during this time, ladies and gentlemen? Leo. <clears throat> What's going on with those that resonate sign of Leo. It's going to be a love reading, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get straight into it. Let's get two more questions. What's going on with Leo? The glorious Leo. The sun has moved towards you. Holy shit. You know, as I'm thinking about the winter solstice and uh, the sun moving, you know, past its lowest point and now moving up to its highest point, which is the summer solstice, you appear at the bottom of the deck. Guys, things look promising thus far. But I hope I'm not speaking too soon. Anyways, wow, we got two aces back to back. Leo, what's going on? What's going on? And as I say that, the clock reads 111. All right. The death card. Transformation. So clearly there's new beginnings. There's new beginnings is really what the theme of this, this reading is about. Wow, we got another one, ladies and gentlemen. This is card number 10. One plus zero equals one. Wheel of Fortune. Wow. I, you, you guys are surprising me, baffling me. Look at this. Another major arcana. All right. Completion. Wrapping up a fucking cycle, ladies and gentlemen. Right? The world card is all about closing out a chapter, beginning something new. We got new here. We got new here. We got new here. And all this ensuing from you aligning yourself with these blessings. You see, this isn't mere luck, ladies and gentlemen. This is manifestation. This is you aligning yourself with wrapping up something challenging. Guys, the old is going to be left behind. I kid you not, Leo. So far, out of all the readings that I've done, which is about every zodiac sign except a few, you have the best reading so far. Again, I hope I'm not speaking too soon. Because your person, whomever it is that you have within your proximity, Leo, seems conflicted. All right? There seems to be some sort of friction all right, in your external energy. Hmm, Leo, Leo, Leo. All right, let me tell you what Leo wants. Leo wants to regain some sort of strength, some sort of strength within themselves. All right, and I get the sense that Leo is compelled to isolate themselves, is compelled to go within and seek that strength internally. That is what I'm getting. All right. <clears throat> In other words, Leo, your love life may not be so great, but your life seems quite exquisite. All right, let's see what's going on here. What is this Ace of Cups? This is a renewal of emotions. This is something new. This is a spark, some sort of enkindling of your feelings, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't have to be by someone else. It can be, uh, this can be triggered by you. Get one more shuffle. What is this Ace of Cups? All right, ladies and gentlemen. So what am I seeing here? <sighs> Look, Leo. I get the sense that you're wanting to reconcile a situation. All right? Flat out. That is what I'm seeing here. I, I see that you're a bit dubious. You're one foot in, one foot out. You're, you're as, it's as if you don't know whether you're doing the right thing. You don't know whether you're doing the right thing, but you're going with it, is what I'm saying. All right. I want to emphasize that discombobulation. There's, there, there is that binary pool. There is that opposing force within your own self. All right. What is it that Leo truly wants? Do they want to move toward it? further investing into a connection in which already has a significant amount of, of investment? 
Do you want to cooperate with someone? Do you want to collaborate in working together with someone? What is it that Leo truly wants? What is it that they're trying to revive, resurrect? Jeez, Leo. Look, you may feel exuberant. You may feel very positive, a high level of energy. And through this high level of energy, ladies and gentlemen, you just may be swept. You may be swept and may be thinking, you know what? I want to bring this person with me. I want to raise them up with me. <clears throat> However, in order for such, there needs to be balance. There needs to be harmony. And there isn't harmony in a relationship. There may be harmony with you. All right, so there may be some massive transformations going on with you, and you may be entering new chapters within your own life. But in your love life, whomever it is that you have around your proximity, ladies and gentlemen, regarding romance, that situation does not seem so promising. It does not seem not promising. I take that back. It doesn't seem so happy. All right. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of the mortification that comes from this scenario, from this scenario in which there's some friction with someone around you, stems from your own self. All right? It stems from your own self. But you know what? I applaud you. I applaud you because despite the midst of all that fucking muck, you're going with it. You're going. It's like, this is the epitome of... Of this is the epitome of, of really being led by your heart, right? Pursuing your heart's desire. Pursuing your heart's desire. There's a lot of opposing energy here, ladies and gentlemen. It's like we got renewal, but then we'll fucking renew in the challenge position. Why is the ace of coins in the challenge position? Why? Maybe because you're hesitant? You're a bit hesitant towards something you want to do, Leo? <clears throat> Putting behind a defeat. Why is this Ace of Coins here? Wow, we got the same card, ladies and gentlemen. Look, look, <clears throat> there's been some sort of separation, some sort of distance, some sort of friction within a relationship that extends far back. All right, there's abandonment surrounding this relationship, or at least the feeling of. Furthermore, there's a significant amount of stress within yourself regarding this relationship. <sighs> to further elaborate, ladies and gentlemen, this isn't going anywhere. All right. This card speaks of bondage, of attachment. All right. You're going through a difficult time, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like you're being pulled in two different directions. You may have the propensity to move towards someone. And you may have the propensity to move to away from them simultaneously. All right? Or subsequently. Now, my battery is about to die. And I'm going to switch it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I left off on that devil energy here. So, yeah. You, you got a, a pretty strong energy going on here you got a lot of good things happening for you all right look ladies and gentlemen with all this renewal you know i'm just seeing this renewal this sort of energy this i i see it in the past and i see it in the present and then i see the the where it's heading the trajectory of it ladies and gentlemen and i'm just going to leave you with this here we're in a transitional phase right now right just a day ago we we had the winter solstice right this is the crossing of the sun this is where the sun moves from the lower hemisphere and begins its journey up, right? This is a major transition uh, astronomically. Now, furthermore, it is a full moon on the 25th. While people are celebrating Jingle Bells, it's going to be a, a fucking full moon, okay? Again, a lunar cycle, completion. This is uh, a, a major, a major, a, the most significant, possibly the most significant phase in... The, a lunar cycle, the full moon, depending on which witch you ask, or warlock. Anyways, furthermore, in the civil matrix, there's going to be a massive celebration of the end of the year, right? Not that it, not not that it has a fucking astronomical significance or anything like that. It's just human tradition. However, we got 
triple transitional phases here. All right. So the reason why I'm emphasizing this, ladies and gentlemen, is because you are already in that transitional phase. You're already transforming. You're in the midst of transformation. All right. And it's up to you to wield it correctly. The future is upon your own hands. All right. The future is upon your own hands. Might as well fucking do away with the past, ladies and gentlemen. Leo, look. I'm going to leave you with that. I was going to I was going to dig deeper, but if you're wanting to reconcile something, if you're still wanting to latch onto something from the past and bring it into this new phase, fuck. Teach their own, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to bore into this individual. What energy surrounds their thoughts, their feelings and their intentions towards you? So if this is you that's wanting to reconcile something that's been existent and you aren't ready to cut them off, then I'm going to do you right. Let's go take a look at this individual and see how they feel about you and what they think about you. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready to just close out the year with a fucking bang and and really just wrap up, wrap up the year. Don't even bother looking at the extended. Otherwise, I'll see you there or I'll see you next year.